What if I told you you could stream an HD movie while on a flight from LA to London uninterrupted, all on one satellite? One. It's insane, I know. There are over 1,400 active satellites in orbit right now. Each one was built for a unique purpose. Viasat 2 is one of the largest active geosynchronous communication satellites currently in space with the highest internet capacities. This behemoth weighs in at over 14,000 pounds, stands about 20 feet tall, and has a wingspan of about 158 feet. That's like the wingspan of a 767. The Viasat 2 is one of the latest in satellite communication technologies. It can provide 300 gigabits of service per second with about 25 megabits per second download speeds per user. That's enough to stream an ultra HD Netflix show from space. It also helps that it's geostationary. It's always in the same place in the sky, blanketing a huge swath of the planet with the glory of internet. That glory, by the way, extends across North, Central, and the top of South America, as well as the Caribbean and across the Atlantic Ocean. A priority of these satellites is to provide high-speed internet to planes and ships, but also broadband internet to those who live too far from good infrastructure. Right now, a lot of internet-providing satellites use frequencies inside of a range called the KU band. The signal of the KU band isn't super susceptible to atmospheric moisture, which is good, but satellites need big, heavy antennas in order to use it, which increases the cost to launch them. The Viasat 2 uses newer KA band frequencies, which are used by military aircraft for targeting radar. The antennas are lighter, lessening the cost to launch, but the signal is more susceptible to atmospheric moisture. The biggest benefit with this new sat is that it's one satellite covering a humongous area of the planet. That means there would be less handoff as you cross the Atlantic. See, with KU satellites, there are lots and you have to hop from one to another. With Viasat 2, it's like everyone from Caracas to Seattle to Paris are all on the same network. Viasat 2 could change how we communicate in this global community we've built. There are over 1,400 satellites up in space though, and each one has a purpose and a story. Do you have a favorite? For more epic stories of innovation that shaped our future, check out theageofaerospace.com. Since you're still here, can you do me a favor and subscribe? It just takes a click. And if you want more flying goodness, watch Amy talk about how big satellites are, because some are huge. I don't think I have to tell you, but the internet doesn't come from space. It's beamed up there from the ground. So having that one satellite to beam to, even with atmospheric moisture, is a big advantage.